How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I went diving a couple times this week, but didn't really get enough footage to make a full video. But I still wanted to make a video for you guys. I didn't wanna leave you guys hanging this week. So we're gonna be doing a how to shoot moose video. Now, moose are often regarded as Hawaii's smartest fish, on the reef at least. Um, they're, for most, a lot of people, myself included, when, when we're first starting out, they're incredibly difficult to shoot. Mostly because, like I said, they're very intelligent and they, they keep their distance and they're very hard to uh, coax into coming closer and into shooting range. So this video is going to be a bunch of stuff that I do personally to get those moves into range, to have a little bit more success with shooting moves. Because me personally, like I said, when I was first starting out diving, shooting a move was took was probably the fish that took me the longest to shoot. Um, it, was, it was very difficult for me to to get to pass get past that milestone. And so I hope this video will be helpful for you guys. And before I start, I just want to preface this by saying this, these are all stuff that just works for me personally that I do uh, pretty much routinely every time I see Moo and every time I'm trying to shoot them. So I do apologize if it doesn't work for everybody, but these are just you know tips and tricks that I do myself when I'm out there diving and I find a nice Moo pile. I hope this, this video helps you guys out, especially for those of you like me who, who dive um, just regular old dive spots. And um, yeah, that's, that's what today's video is gonna be. I hope you guys find this helpful and let's get into the video. Shoot. So moos are by far the fish that I put the most thought into while I'm trying to shoot them. So you watch here in this clip, as I'm going down, I'm looking around to my left to my right behind me just trying to see make sure the moves aren't in those areas because i want them to be in front of me when i land and so i know that i know that the moves are around already and so i i assume if they're not behind me or to my right or left they're going to be in front of me and so i hit the bottom here and this is one of the biggest things that i can suggest to people is keeping your eyes hidden so you notice i'm, I'm behind this boulder here and i'm throwing up sand and i'm keeping my eyes down i know the moves are in front of me and so i don't need to be looking at them or staring at them because for some reason that tends to scare them a little bit and i'm also scratching the rock in front of me and i'll go over that in a second but you see here another thing that i like to do is i take that little lunge because there comes a time where where the moves won't come any closer and so you need to take that lunge and that bridges the gap between the two of you and so the other thing too that you have to get used to because that lunge takes a bit of practice. It took me a long time to actually get that down and to actually be able to be consistent with that and hit my target still because it's not like you're stable anymore, right? You're moving, you're lunging forward, your, your aim is gonna be different. And so adjusting for that takes a lot of practice. It took me a lot of practice as well. But it's something that you kind of have to get used to with, with move because a lot of times they'll, they'll come in, but they won't come in all the way in range. And you gotta, you gotta cut that distance down with a quick lunge before they can react. And you also gotta start getting used to taking a little bit farther shots. I know that's, you know, not something that a lot of people are comfortable with. I'm super uncomfortable with taking far shots, but with moves, it's kind of something you gotta do. Now this move right here was actually one of my biggest ones ever. But yeah, so for starters, keeping your eyes down is super important in my opinion. And also that scratching thing that I was doing on the boulder while I was behind it, it makes the sound like something's eating. Like, and especially with moose, it works really well because moose, uh, f they feed on crustaceans, like crabs, shrimp, whatever. And so a lot of times that crunching sound, it sounds like a moo crunching down on like the shell of a crab or something. And so that's another uh, another tip that, that tends to, to bring them in a little bit more, I've noticed. So right here, as you can see, keeping my eyes down again, but in this particular situation, I didn't actually know where the moves were. I just knew they were around. And so you see me look to my right here and I see there's a few off to my right. But you notice when I look up, when I do look for, for to see where they are, because you do need to look up eventually, it's quick glances, right? So I look up, I see they're not close enough. I get an idea of where they are. I look right back down or I keep my eyes moving like panoramically. I look from side to side and I spot one here, come up. I do that lunge again and take my shot. So again, that's just something that that, that helps me a lot personally is is making sure I'm not staring at them. I'm gonna keep repeating that a lot throughout this video because I do it almost every time that I try and shoot a move. 
because it's, in my opinion, probably the most crucial step in, in shooting move. That's that's just from my personal experience. But got got another nice one here. And all of these clips are on Oahu. So I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos, you dive on Oahu and um, we do have a higher pressure um, fishery. We got a lot more divers and a lot more um, fishermen than, than some of the other islands. So it especially it, it's especially tricky, I've noticed, because I've dove outer island before as well. I've noticed that it's especially tricky and difficult to shoot moves um, on Oahu. So yeah another nice one here and you'll notice a lot of these shots they're not great shots and it's because um one because i'm not the best at aiming but two because um I'll, like i mentioned earlier with that lunge a lot of times i'm moving right so i'm not stable i'm not anchored on the ground you know it's not like the ideal situation you want to be taking a shot in and so a lot of these um are going to be really inconsistent with my shot placement you'll notice and so the last couple clips were in pretty deep water, but this is this is shallow. So like uh, moves, you don't necessarily have to dive deep. Of course, just like with every other fish, it does help. And I can make a video on on what I did to start diving deeper as well. But in this clip right here is an illustration of you know it doesn't always go the way you want it to. So right here, I take that fast lunge with that move that was almost in range, and he takes off. And so. I had to adjust. Part of it is understanding what the fish are doing as well, like how they're behaving. It's not always gonna be the same. And so right here, I make a quick adjustment. I'm scratching again, dusting again, keeping my eyes down, little glances up to see if they're in range. And this time I take a much slower lunge before I pull the trigger on this move. And so part of it is also adjusting because not all the, not like just with any fish, they're not always gonna behave the same way. And you'll notice again, got a bad shot on this guy as well. Luckily it held but um, my shots are all over the place and that's a lot of it has to do with because i'm moving right i'm getting up off the bottom lunging forward and that's that's taking off quite a bit of the accuracy but yeah if you like like i said in that drop i didn't really or the the thing that i would do the most which is the fast lunge at the end of the drop did it wasn't working and so i had to make an adjustment there slow it down a little bit and that kept the move in range just long enough for me to get my shot off another nice one here and a couple other things too i like to with Mu, i like to go later in the afternoon uh, or super early in the morning because that tends to be just like a lot of other fish and especially predatory fish like moos are and mukus and, and papillos and stuff like that they tend to be more active later in the day because that's when they're starting to hunt, right? They're getting ready to start hunting for, for whatever food they're going after. And the same thing applies for moo. And so I like to go either really early in the morning or later in the afternoon. Another thing you'll notice about moo is sometimes you'll find a big pile of them and they're sitting super high up in the water column. And that's, you know, in general, not really what I, I like to see. You know, if they're really high up in the water column, they're usually not as curious. Um, but as the day gets later or when it's super early in the morning, they tend to hang out lower, closer to the bottom. And that to me signifies that they're more in a feeding mood. And so they're sitting closer to the bottom and they're gonna be more curious because they're almost in a hunting kind of mindset. And that's why they're sitting closer to the bottom because everything that they're gonna eat is gonna be on the bottom. So in this case, right here in this clip, this is a situation where sometimes you don't have to do anything at all. I mean, sometimes you do all the right things and it doesn't even matter. And that's, you know, it rarely happens because moves are very intelligent, like I've mentioned. But when it does happen, it's really nice and it's and it, you get really lucky when, when this occurs. So in this case, I'm dusting and I'm doing, keeping my eyes down and I look up and I see, you know, there's a few moves, but they're really small. And they're really far away too. Like you see, they're not even giving me the time of day. But then I turn around right here and I see a few good sized ones behind me. And I'm, I've pretty much given up on this drop. This one is kind of in range. I get into the seated position and I make some fake shots at him and he doesn't move. And so I, I go back down don't do anything and I just take the lunge and get a shot off. And so that's a, an example of sometimes 
you do all the tricks in the world, all the all the different kind of you know techniques in the world, and it and it doesn't matter. Which, like I said, doesn't happen super often, but when it does, it is very nice. And so again, you'll notice that 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 I mean, this was kind of a better shot than all of the other shots that I took earlier in this video with those other clips, but my shot placement is super inconsistent. And that's something that I'm personally working on, being able to lunge and, and have a consistent shot placement every time. So yeah, another nice one. Got a little shish kebab shot on him. But yeah, those are pretty much all of the things that I do when I'm shooting at move. Like it's, it, I do the same thing every time until it doesn't work. And if it's not working, I figure out why it's not working. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything that I do personally to uh, have more success with shooting Mu and give get, to give myself the best um, chance of shooting a Mu. And of course, there's times where it doesn't work and I don't shoot any Mu, but this is just what works best for me, in my opinion. Of course, there does come a time where absolutely none of these things work. Like I said, moves are super weird and super tricky, uh, but you're doing everything right. You're hitting the bottom, you're throwing up sand, keeping your eyes down, all of that stuff, and they're just not coming in. There is one more option, and that's dive bombing them. And me personally, I hardly ever dive bomb moves or just fish in general because I'm not good at it. I prefer to be, you know, stable on the bottom and, and uh, be able to line up with them on their level. But that doesn't always work out. And so I don't have a lot of experience dive bombing fish and dive bombing moves in particular. But my friend Hunter does. He's actually really good at it as far as, um, you know, taking those tough shots because dive bombing fish is a, is a tough, tough shot usually especially with moves because of how smart they are so i've got a couple clips of hunter dive bombing moves doing his thing and i'm just gonna go over what he's doing in these clips that gives him some success with dive bombing move so here hunter's going down and dive bombing a move and you'll notice he gets all the way down to almost their level or this moves level and the other thing you'll notice too is he waits this this fish is flipping zigzagging whatever and he waits, he, you see here he has a shot, but then the moo turns too skinny and then it turns a little bit broadside again. And that's when he takes his shot. Not broadside by a lot at all, but it gives him that little angle and the best opportunity to take a shot. And that's what he kind of waited for there. Now on this one, they don't always give you that broadside opportunity. Sometimes they, they start running like this. But you'll notice here, when Hunter pulls the trigger, I'll freeze it right here for a second. When Hunter pulls the trigger, he's not lined up exactly, you know, in line with the fish. He's lined up kind of at an angle. You know, he's if you look at where he's where the his spear is actually pointed, it's not directly in a straight line like the fish is. The fish gives him a tiny angle to the left, and so he aims a little bit to the left and manages to nail this move. Now Hunter dive bombs move better than anybody I've ever really dove with because most of us, we don't dive bomb our moves, but it comes in handy for Hunter, especially when the moves are being really tricky and the only way to get close to him is to, to dive bomb him. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope these tips and tricks will help you in the water when you're, if you're trying to shoot your first move or you're just trying to shoot more move because you see them all the time. Uh, Cause they are a super tricky fish and it took me a very long time to learn all of these things that I went over in the video. And again, just a disclaimer, I'm, I do sincerely apologize if these, um, these tricks or whatever, they don't work for you. Uh, these are just things that I do personally and things that I've learned from my experiences with trying to shoot more move. Cause it, like I said, it did take me a very long time. And so, uh, yeah, but I do hope these, guys, these tricks help you guys at least a little bit. And let me know if you guys want me to do more of these types of videos, you know, leave a comment down below if you got a fish in particular that, that's been bugging you or you, that you've been struggling to, to bridge the gap with and, and get in range of or whatever it may be. Leave a comment down below and I'll check those out. And if enough of you guys want it, I'll make this into a little series where I go over a bunch of different um, 
fish that that I've shot. Of course, I'm not you know an expert of of every fish that we got here in Hawaii uh, or of any of them, honestly, by any means. But I will do my best to uh, just go over the things that I do when I'm trying to shoot those fish that that you guys may may be struggling because and honestly, I struggle with a lot of these fish too. So so um, yeah, just leave some comments down below and I'll check those out. And if you guys want more of this. I'll be sure to make more, but that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this is helpful, but I'll see you in the next one.